Hey everybody, we're doing three things today. One, we are going to be finishing a drum pattern with the brush tool. Two, we're going to scale quantize the brush tool. And three, we're going to draw on a synth part. So I've just got this basic thing started right now. Pretty basic with a kick and a snare side stick. The brush tool is this bottom one right here. That's the one we have chosen. And once we have the, the actual time uh, breakdown we want, we can actually draw in some stuff here. This is what I love about it. You can see I can just quickly draw whatever I want. And once I hover above it, I can delete for things like the hi-hat open right here. So let's play this. Pretty awesome. Now, you can see that I have the drums here. If you don't see that yourself, uh, then it may just be in the wrong things. But right now, I switched it to drum names under the view. That's just a side note. I like that when I'm doing the drum patterns. Next, we need a bass region up here. Let's draw one. And in here, we want to do a scale quantize. We can do any scale we want, and once we have that chosen, you'll see that it skips over certain notes. So, Now we're going to draw this in, but we're going to change the time as well. I don't want to do 16th notes, I want to do 8th notes. And if we want, we can take that a little bit further, doubling it up. Either way, I do kind of like this version a little bit. Cool. This tool is so handy when working with MIDI drawing parts and using the time quantize and the scale quantize. Uh, we can also change the velocity that's going to be triggered here, but you know. We can also do that at any different point along the way. Check out a future video when we do MIDI draw in order to see how we might actually work with some of the velocity on that. Okay, that's it for this. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.